guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video as you guys can see I am in a different area I decided to kind of switch it up a little bit since I am actually able to film and it's sunny outside and not raining for once so today's video is going to be my May BoxyCharm unboxing so this month's theme is make waves there are five items in this box if you guys don't know what BoxyCharm is it is a monthly subscription where you get four to five full-size items lately it's been more like five to six full-size items and you only pay $21 a month with the option to upgrade to a Lux box where you get 10 full-size items for $50 a month or for $50 every three months so it's really really cool um, and lately they've been doing the option where you can customize your box as well so i've really been enjoying that too i just wanted to kind of switch it up since now we're getting into the summertime and we have light during later times at night i felt like it would be a cool opportunity to go ahead and film in a different room in front of natural daylight yeah we're gonna jump right into the box i got variation 13 and this box is actually more like rectangular versus a square because of one of the items that came in another variation which was the glam glow cleanser um but this is my box and when you open it up the first item that comes in this month's box is the first aid beauty hello fab coconut water cream and this is what it looks like this actually retails for 34 dollars which is already more than the box itself it brings 1.7 ounces of product which is about normal size for a face cream and it smells absolutely amazing it doesn't have an obnoxious coconut smell which i really really like it kind of has like a powdery smell more than anything so um this helps this is an oil-free refreshing light water cream and it's infused with skin nourishing coconut water it's supposed to give a softer smoother healthier glow to the skin so i'm taking about this much of the coconut cream i'm gonna go ahead and apply that on my face and my face is already cleansed oh wow yeah, this like literally feels like it's so lightweight. It feels like you're just putting water on the skin, but it's actually like penetrating in the pores, you know? So this is perfect for people with combination to oily skin type. I'm gonna put a little bit of my Tarte Maracuja C Brightener Eye Treatment just to keep the eyes nice and moisturized as well. Cause you know, we're trying to look like this when we're 60. Alrighty, and I'm gonna go ahead and um, put on my eyebrows really quick and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so my eyebrows are on and I just went ahead and primed my eyes with the Luscious um, Angel's Eye Angel Eyes Eyeshadow Primer Base from last month's box. I have been obsessed with this stuff. We're gonna do the eyes um, and I'm gonna use the Carity Come As You Are Eyeshadow Palette, which is absolutely beautiful. It looks like this and we're gonna do a really pretty pink look. No surprise there. I'm gonna zoom you guys in and then we will jump into the eyeshadow. So this is what we have going on for the eyes and I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the next product from our BoxyCharm. So the next product in this month's BoxyCharm is from Ciate. This is the Ciate London Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow and this retails for $22. And this is supposed to be a long lasting shimmering eyeshadow, metallic glittering liquid eyeshadow that can be swiped for full coverage luster, blended out for a sheer sparkle or applied all over over any eyeshadow as a topper which is what we're gonna do today so this is in the shade cupid and this is absolutely gorgeous like pinky purpley golden eyeshadow which is why i went for the pink eyeshadow look so we're just gonna go ahead and apply that right on top of this eyeshadow i'm gonna start in the center and then i'm gonna take my finger while it's still wet 
and it just kind of blend it out softly. And you can use a brush if you want to, but I find that this is easier for me. You guys see the difference between this eye and this eye? It like gives it that nice wet look. But you can still see the eyeshadow from underneath. a little bit in the inner corners too and I'm gonna pop a little more on once I put on my concealer and stuff like that I just think it's really really pretty it's definitely very versatile from what I can tell it dries pretty nice so that's what that looks like I'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup real quick and I'll be right back so that way I can show you what else is in this month's box I went ahead and put on my baking powder underneath my eyes my foundation is on and I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the third item in this month's box which is the item I was most excited for for this month and the next item in this month's box is the Alamar Cosmetics Colorete Blush Trio. So I got mine in the um, color medium tan and this retails for $22. Again, more than the box itself. This just is um, three different shades that works perfectly with medium to tan complexion and I was actually going to use some of these eyeshadow or these blushes as um, eyeshadow but I changed my mind so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the color here called Isla so we have um, seclusion Isla and toasted so you have a peach like a coral and then well a peachy orange a peachy pink and then a blush like a rose tone pink color which I think is absolutely perfect but I'm gonna go ahead and go into the corally shade and I'm gonna use this on a Morphe I mean on a BH Cosmetics number four blush brush Ooh, wow this is very pigmented I just realized I forgot to contour wow this is super pigmented so I always put the blush on the apples of the cheek here because I find that it gives that like real like that rounder shape to the cheeks kind of gives it that more lifted look and just because I can I'm gonna take a little bit of toasted Woo! Took a little too much girl and a little tiny bit of uh, seclusion trying to create a blush ombre and I look like a clown well actually it doesn't look too bad on camera but in real life girl put a little bit on a bridge of my nose there and on my forehead and to contour with I'm taking my Mac mineralized skin finish natural in the color deep dark and I'm taking that on a morphe I mean on beach cosmetics number two brush from the royal brush set I'm gonna go ahead and put that underneath put it on my double chin you already know girl and a little bit on my forehead there I usually would use a different color but I don't feel like going to my room to get it so we're gonna make this work and I always blend that in take a little bit of my Fenty banana powder I still don't really know how I feel about this but I think I'm gonna end up keeping this because I don't hate it but it's not like my ColourPop powder but you get more bang for your buck so it's starting to grow on me so I'm gonna go ahead and put that underneath here And what I'm going to do is take my large um, powder brush and just kind of take a little translucent powder and blend everything out. Get rid of that bake underneath the eyes. And that's just going to help that blush really blend into the skin. Because on camera it's not looking too bad, but in person, girl. <laughs> I went a little overboard if you know what I mean. Then I'm gonna take this um, product that I have been obsessed with. This isn't from BoxyCharm. This is um, the Too Faced You're So Jelly Gel Highlighter and this is in the shade Gilded Champagne and it looks like this. So it's similar to the first Solly but it's a lot cheaper. It brings more product as well and it smells like green apples. It just smells so good. So I'm gonna take a little bit off the lid here, and it has like this really bouncy texture to it too which I really like so I'm gonna go ahead and put that right on top of the cheekbone and I haven't tried it on top of makeup yet but I've been wearing it on its own and I really really like it I feel like it gives a really pretty natural lit from within it's 
actually was blending out really nice. What I don't like about the Farsali one, I know this video has nothing to do with Farsali, but what I don't like about the Farsali one is that it is kind of chunky, so I feel like it doesn't look natural. While well, this just kind of blends into the skin. Like you can see how that just looks like blowing from within compared to this side, that side, this side. Then I'm just gonna take the blush brush and make sure that highlight doesn't leave a harsh little mark there. And there we go. All right, I know you guys have seen this room in like every single angle, but the sun, I filmed at the worst time. It's 6.30 and the sun, I guess, is setting. So the like sun keeps like going higher on my face. So you can't really see my face as well but i feel like you can see my makeup a little more in this angle anyway i'm gonna grab the next product in the boxy charm box which is eyelash curler from pure cosmetics so this retails for 18 dollars and it's basically it's just an eyelash curler guys it's honestly not anything out of the ordinary it is a lot better than the cheap like little walmart ones so let's go ahead and give it a whirl and i'm gonna show you guys so these are my bad lashes here So I'm gonna take them, press, and I'm gonna lift, press, and lift one more time, press. You guys see that? Compared to these lashes. I mean, these lashes obviously are better than these lashes on their own. You guys see? I'm going to use my Milk Cosmetics Kush Lash Primer that I got from Influencer. I'm gonna go ahead and coat my lashes. And for my mascara, I'm using my Tarte Gifted Mascara, which I haven't used this one in a while. Got the stopper stuck. There it is. So this is my Tarte Gifted Mascara, which used to be one of my favorites, and it still is one of my favorites, but I just have other mascaras that I really have been loving. But I just wanna go with more of a fluffier lash today. And you guys can see what my lashes look like with mascara versus no mascara and these are my crappy lashes guys I'm actually going to use some of the blush from the Alamar palette called toasted on this pixie o eo3 brush and put that on my lower lash line here just to kind of connect the look you can see how that looks compared to how that looks and I'll go to that toasted and I'm gonna apply it in the crease too all right, put some of the Ciate Eye Luster in the inner corners. I like to bring it up to like this part of my eye here. It like kind of opens up the eyes. I messed up a little here, but once it dries, I'll fix it. But this is what it's supposed to look like. Then I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with my NYX Los Angeles Lip Liner. And it's starting to get a little dark in here, so let me put in my exposure. I really love this lip liner. It's like that Kylie Jenner lip color, you know? Then I'm taking the Wet n Wild Liquid Lip Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick in the shade Rebel Rose. I did overline my lips a bit, but it's okay. Alright. And then the last and final item in this month's box is this lip gloss from Oriza in the shade Champagne Cocktail. And it's called an Opaline top gloss it retails for $14.99 and it says that it is a lightweight waterproof lip topper adding an extra dimension and shimmer on top of your lips you layer it over your favorite lips color for an impactful lip look or wear it alone as a subtle gloss so i think it's really really pretty it's like this really pretty like champagne -y, peachy pink vibe um so let's go ahead and try it it's very glittery you guys can see i actually really like it. it has a nice thin texture to it all right now that this is drying i don't know how i feel about it because it's like kind of sticky see that i don't really know how i feel about it and i feel like it doesn't even look shiny it just gives like a glittery look to the lips it's not horrible put a little bit more of this stuff on because i feel like I like that better 
Alrighty, yeah. So this is the finished look using this month's boxy charm. Overall, I'm gonna give this box an eight out of ten. I didn't hate every single product in this month's box. I think the last box that I was like meh about, I think maybe it was January, bro. January, January's box that I was like meh. January was probably the last box that I was like meh. Um, yeah. So I give this box an eight out of ten. Um, because I, first of all, I really wish I would have gotten the Dose of Colors lipstick, especially not to trying this and like wearing it. It's like so sticky. And if I press my lips together, like once I press my lips together, this shine that you see here goes away and I'm not okay with that. I don't like that at all. So, um, and I even feel my lips kind of tightening up some and I don't really like that at all, but I did really like the eye topper. I think that it's really, really pretty color. I feel like I'm going to grab for it a lot. Definitely goes with my vibes. I love the blush. The blush was very intense. The moisturizer was actually really nice too. And I like it because all the other moisturizers that I've gotten from BoxyCharm, which were all in my Luxe boxes, I ended up giving them away because... They ended up breaking me out they were just too heavy for me but this was like the perfect consistency so i really really like that a lot and um the eyelash curler was actually really good too i really wouldn't care that much for an eyelash curler i wasn't like excited for an eyelash curler but they're always nice and they come in handy so i really enjoyed the fact that i got one because i did need a new one so yeah yeah if you guys want to sign up for boxycharm like i said it is 21 dollars a month plus taxes and all that other stuff too so usually mine comes up to like 23 dollars a month and every march june september and december yeah so that was pretty much it for this month's boxy charm i'm super excited for june because you guys already know boxy lux is around the corner and i cannot wait i know it's gonna be a good one and if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel make sure you guys do hit the red subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell so that way you guys don't miss out on any new videos and make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up so that way i know what videos to film for you guys in the future so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one until then